Come. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norms? How I may find my son, not anymore. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself. Had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it. As it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekren. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal. Wise. Clever. Tall. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home is... hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Hold. Let us search this area. The oarsmen. Ugh. A monument of conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though. Oh, no! <laughs> 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 
You won't believe it, Mimir. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. Ugh! <sighs> 
So this outpost is what's left of Fjordrin. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries. There must be another way around. Kingdom housed a great treasury, filled with the spoils of our family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you, Mimi? Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. The other staircase. Thank <laughs> you. 
Perhaps those runes over there can shed some light. What? No, she never mentioned. Is that a key? Hmm. Wonder what lock that key belongs to. No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just cut in half. Perhaps we could find its partner.
Mamir, what did those runes say? Sigrun. <clears throat> she loved another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come, Mamir. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. Suppose I did. Ah, frozen! What now? <laughs> <laughs> Tyr used to talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact. When you enter the Norn's domain, it can be disorienting. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you encountered these Norns? Not personally. Freya's right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. 
Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. <clears throat> he gave up. Or he wanted to forget what he saw. Whatever you need. <laughs> there. Do you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Let this wait. Stay alert. So, you believe the tales of my deeds are exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed Righteous Fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. Set that aside for now. Come. Time we find the Norns? I'm sure your wolves can get us there. <clears throat> As I was saying, tales of time travel always strain credulity. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. 
The threads of fate span all life and time. The sis So fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. I can imagine. If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. Hold! What is that? Look, Defend the peace. I remember the Jotner crafting these bracers for Tyr's statue. They chose only their most talented and accomplished to do the job. You have a good memory, Freya. Like Tyr, the Jotnar also believe the best offensive strategy is a good defense. So, this is how they chose to honor them. The giants were not wrong. So to be clear, Finding the norms is not about altering events, yeah? I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. That must be Tyr's helmet, from his statue. Win minds, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either these days. Kratos, a raider encampment. Shall we take care of them, brother? That's all of them. These were coal raiders. Infamous for eating wolves. The trace and I rescued ours from such an encampment. That was kind of you. The coal raiders have been a blight on this land. The way they've abused its creatures. Perhaps we should do something about it. Up to you, brother. If the Norns know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit later. A good team. With my brains, Kratos is brawn, and my lady's. Uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. Mm-hmm. 
It does not matter. Doesn't it? If rage is all that remains, her reasons are irrelevant. We can't go further on the sled. What did you find? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? Who left that way out here? Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. the ones in that recipe book you found? I imagine we might find one of those ingredients around here. Ah, I knew I recognized those initials. The Ballad of Yari and Soma. I'm not familiar. An old tale, but a good one nonetheless. The carving marks their passage through this realm. We could always try and find the others, if you're curious. Clear, you have survived a giant's corpse to a... stop a certain fight we will talk about. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, no. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, we used to travel through this temple constantly. A quick, how do you do to Brock? Then off on another adventure. You miss it? Aye. Everything for help. Simple like that. Agreed. <laughs> Haven't we all? Kratos, do you remember when I brought you and Atreus in here for the first time? Seems like lifetimes ago. I do. And it was because of your guidance we were able to fulfill Faye's last wish. Ahem. And yours as well, Mumir. Kratos, tell me of an adversary from your homeland. It will serve us well if I understand more of your battle tactics. Mm -hmm. There was Medusa, queen of the Gorgons. Her gaze turned men to stone. 
a mirror will turn her own powers against her. Or you may remove her head, but that is the hard way. Which did you choose? The hard way. Forget I asked. Another coal raider camp. Kratos, we should do something about them. Another raven free.
Why do they whine? Poor things. They can smell more danger. Uh, the wolves fear that which can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that. Force of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. <laughs> from Tyr's statue. Wish for peace. Be ready for war. Well, I think that's the last of it. Doubtful we'll find any more interesting bits. I always admire the love Tyr inspires. Where I come from, gods of war are not revered in such a way. Not all gods of war are the same, brother. No, they are not.
Brother, in my travel, I heard of a great battle in your homeland, at a place called the Gates of Fire. We heard gates. You are there? No. Is that regret in your voice? I did regret not dying there for many years, but no longer. grow tired of your lack of empathy for your own wolves. It's Demos, isn't it, brother? I should not have told you, Demos. You see yourself in these wolves, in their fear. Let us keep moving. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye, very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. from Tyr's statue. Another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it.
be useful. Well done. Now we just need to open the gate. Well done. It was not intentional. Oh, sure. My arrows can't go through walls, I'm afraid. Together again. Lemir, does this look like an abandoned treasury to you? Aye, it does. It's Seagrin's family crest. It looks like a vault door to me. That key we found in another part of Seagrin's kingdom. Think it'll unlock it? Not when it's broken in two. Then let us find the other half.
I'm all for exploring the area, but to be clear, it's down there we'll find the noise. <laughs> What's that outpost? I've expanded my inventory since we last spoke. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. <laughs> this will be of use. Another sign from Fjotalun, Lemire. Another crane. Another sleeping beast, the handiwork of Alvi Stonefoot. Sad to see Seagrin's homeland in such a terrible state. You know, Marie, if you want to take a tour of the kingdom, you might not like everything you find. Oh, she loved another before me. There are worse things to discover about someone you love. Yes, there certainly is. Let's go! 
instrument from your homeland, isn't it? Can you play? Yes. Will you? No. Now where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tears Vault. Cast riches and power aside to follow a higher calling with the Valkyrie. You really put her on a pedestal. That's what pedestals are for, aren't they? They <laughs> up the virtuous. If you say so. through the wall. Well done. 
Maybe those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. That can't be. It is. Oh, Mimir. Look. The other half of the vault key. Now that we've made the key hole again, we should head back to the treasury. <laughs> See what fortunes await inside. massacred our family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrun and her brother had issues over that. Oh, and all the time Sigrun and I spent with each other. She never mentioned anything about this. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. <laughs> 